So we've got friends from all over the world. What, uh, what they're going to do is they're going to introduce themselves. Some of them will speak in their native language. If you can translate, please come up and translate on their behalf. Okay? These kids are a little nervous too, uh, but they're going to show you a little bit about the instruments. So please clap for the young ones here, Bethany and Gang, and Ferdinand and Gang. Traveling the world and playing music at this age. You know what I was doing at this age? I was uh, playing with a stick in the sand outside my house. Yeah. So these guys are doing great. One more time, a big warm round of applause. Mosen, are you ready to start this off? Mosen needs one second. It's up, Mosen. <laughs> okay, so Mosen's going to start this off. Tell us a little bit about the Constantina, and uh, then we'll move on. Hello, how are y'all getting on? Are y'all having a good festival? Yeah. Perfect, so I am Mawson, I'm from Glasgow in Scotland. Has anyone ever been to Scotland? Woo! Yep, has anyone not been to Scotland? Woo! Does everyone want to go to Scotland? Woo! That's what I thought. So, um, I play the concertina. Um, it's, quite, um, it's quite common in Ireland. Ireland's very big for the concertina. Um, I've played for about 15 years. And um, basically, it was, it, was invented in, it was invented in Germany, and it was also invented in England at around the same time. It was about five years apart, um, and uh, they sort of co-invented it, and it became popular. It's very popular in South Africa, um, it's very popular in Ireland, it's popular down in England, and in Scotland, there's about five of us that play it. So I'm very, very lonely in Scotland. Um, but I keep happy and I've got lots of friends, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but no, it's just basically, it's basically a small accordion and it's the best instrument in the world if you ever want to go travelling and play music for a living. So, it's amazing. So, does anyone else play the concertina? You're very much alone. I think so. <laughs> this is how it's been my whole life. Um, if I'm talking too fast, um, I would like to apologise, but um, it only gets faster. So, um, will I give you, will I give a tune? Will I try to tell? Okay. 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 Uh, no, it's fine. I'll just do it. It's fine. Just do it. Doesn't matter. That's good. It's good. It's fine. Okay. I'll just, I'll just, right. I'll play you a tune. Um, I normally play quite fast. Um, and if you want to clap along, or you want to dance, or you want to do anything, do whatever you want, and just make lots of noise. Can you make lots of noise? Three, two, one. Beautiful. These are absolutely beautiful. So I'll give you a tune. This is uh, called The Broken Pledge and I hope you enjoy it. Can you like add a little bit of reverb onto that? Is that right? Okay. Uh, we'll need, uh, we'll
Thank you very much. Um, I mean, that's basically all it is, and you just do that for like 90 minutes for every single gig. So, I mean, uh, I mean, it does, it's, that's it. That's basically it. Do you want another one, or do you want to move on? We will move on. Great. So, thank you very much. Let go. Yeah, amazing. Thank you very much. That was great. It's very interesting that you have a, a lot of gadgets in front of you. Uh, are they all hooked up now? Or, no, they, they're not hooked up, so we're not using them yet. Yeah. Nah, we've got no electricity. No luck. From there, uh, everyone say hello to Ferdinand. Okay, I'm going to give Ferdinand the microphone and he's going to explain um, uh, the instrument he's playing and of course Budiono's uh, instrument there. Uh, so everyone give it up for Ferdinand, everyone. Ferdinand Lundu. Perkenalkan nama saya Perdi Lunju dan teman saya Muhammad Pajar Budiono. Pada hari ini saya akan membawakan namanya ini alat musiknya Kang Kanon dan yang saya teman saya bawakan adalah Gong. Di Kalimantan Tengah alat ini digunakan biasanya untuk mengiringi ritual adat dari pertengahan awal sampai akhir lah gitu. Okay, kalau tak nak cakap pun tak ya, nak main, nak tunjuk macam mana uh, main uh, alat ni. Okay, okay, hey, come on, clap loud. Okay, boys, go for it.
ladies and gentlemen, Ferdinand Lungio and uh, Budiono. Uh, from there, let's come back to Malaysia and let's meet with uh, Razali from Darmas. Darmas is a contraction of Dari Malaysia. Yeah. Hi everyone. Are you guys having fun? This is my friend, Jali. Say hi to Jali. Okay, this is Ruben called Kulin Tangan. It's from Sabah, Malaysia. We made by oil lamps aluminium. We start from the pentatonic scale, but my mind here is I improvise it to the chromatic scale, right? So you can play any song easily. Kulin Tangan is a modern term for an ancient instrument form of music composed on a row of small horizontally laid gongs that function melodically accompanied by larger suspended gongs and drums. As part of the larger gong chimes, culture of Sabah, Kulitangan music, and Sabah have been playing for many centuries. So give it up. Jali. Again, a warm round of applause for Jali. Let's go back there first. I'm going to come to you later. Okay. Uh, here's Benny and Dan. You're from uh, Sabah also, yeah. So any Sabah hands here? Any Sabah hands? Oh my God. Hello everyone. Um, nice to meet you guys. And it's an honor to collaborate with all of you. Um, so my name is Bethany Denisia Bidin, and I'm from the Bangwoods Band, led by our backbone. Mr. Samson Sabli, there's um, the one that who wears the love caps. Yeah, the, that is our leader. So today, um, yeah, we're from Sabah, Malaysia, I'm sorry. Um, today, the instrument that I gonna to I'm going to introduce to all of you is Bangau. Bangau is a pitch percussion instrument in the um, bamboo orchestra. So, the bangau that I brought today has 14 bamboo pipes, um, which including the snare. And this one, it is used to hit the bamboo pipes to make sound. And it is made of rubber and a duct tape. Simple. And um, bangau is usually play um, in the ritual ceremony in harvest festival in Sabah. Um, but now it can be played also in any of the events like wedding, um, the hotels, event, resort, and many more. So, 
Bao has two roles in Bamboo Orchestra. It can be played as rhythmist and it can also be played as melodian, but rarely. It's so rare um, to play in the melody way. So, um, I will call upon my friend, our Marumbis, if he is teaming, to play together with me um, as a rhythm. Teach us a little bit about the Chato Utan. Did I get the pronunciation right? Right. Uh, please give him a warm round of applause, everyone. Hello, everyone. My name is Cedric, and this is my friend, Look. Chato Utan, the Rawa instrument. Chato Utan or Dutong is one of the Oramuru traditional music instrument. And it, it is made from a soko and the scale of pentatonic scale. In the longhouse, Jatolotan was played to the company, uh, Sape, the traditional music, for example, long dance, or uh, special occasion. And now me and my friend Ruk will play the traditional Dutyet song for you guys. Enjoy.
Um, this marimba is a pitch percussion instrument that consists of a set of bamboo bars struck with rubber mallets to produce the musical tones. And then this marimba is usually used to play in in the past, like um, in the ritual ceremony and also some wedding ceremony or harvest festival in Sabah. But now people also use this marimba to play in performances in places such as hotels and resorts. And this marimba is a primitive instrument. It is made from bamboo and wood. The bars is made from bamboo while the body of the marimba is made from wood. And then um, this this bars, the bamboo bars, the lowest one produce the lowest notes while the shortest one will produce the highest pitch note. So now I will show you how the marimba can play the role as a melody in the song. So the song that I will perform now is a song from Sabah entitled Sayang Kinabalu which is dedicated to the Mount Kinabalu of Sabah. of uh, musical instruments from Kalimantan, from uh, Sabah, Sarawak. Now, and also, uh, of course, uh, we've got our friend here from uh, Malaysia, representing the whole country, yeah? Okay. Just needed, needed to get that right politically. Right. Anyway, um, now I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine from uh, Cape Verde. His name is Ampario. Uh, they now live in Holland, uh, but they're here to perform at the Rainforest World Music Festival. The instrument he plays is known as the Gaita, yeah? Yeah, Gaita. So we're going to find out a little bit more about the Gaita. Uh, you can clap your hands at this point to help me introduce uh, Ampario, who's going to take us through a jam shortly. So please clap your hands, everyone. So, thank you. Every, everyone feeling great? Yeah! Yeah, you feeling all right? Yeah! Okay. So you can hear that about my man said, I'm Pai from Tobacco, we are from Holland. We live in Holland, but we are Kaverians. People, this is my brother Netcha on the Faro. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you about some, something about the Gaita. Gaita is very important in the music style that we play. We play the music style Funana. In Kaver, you got a lot of stuff, different music style, and Funana is one of them and that's the music that we play funana and the name tabanka that's we, what we are tabanka tabanka is a different a family a traditional music in kvr too that's the reason i'm gonna tell you about something the gaita the gaita is the lead the, the most important thing in the in the band and thus this side they call the high side let me see. That's the high. And my left side on the right side from yours, that's the, that's the low. Together, they make the sound that we really want in Tabaka, the Funana. I'm going to show you something right now, okay? Can you do this for me? Thank you. 
Uh, thank you for that. So now I guess, uh, now that we've seen all the instruments, uh, the thing we want to do now is try to work together a jam, okay, a jam session. Would you like to see that? Yeah. Instruments from around the world, like people from around the world coming together, okay? So we're going to start a jam, get everyone getting into the groove, and once everyone's into the groove, everyone's going to play a little solo piece, and then come back to the jam, and then we'll, uh, of course, uh, end the jam session with a big bang, hopefully. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the musicians of the Rainforest World Music Festival 2019. I'm about to take it away, my friend.
A warm round of applause for all the musicians at the Rainforest World Music 